What's she like? She's a beauty. And she does not waste words. They tumble out. Wet following wisdom. You haven't bedded her, have you? <sighs> Grab that hand. You're a brute. It's one of those genres that you definitely wanted to tick off the list to get an opportunity to do a Western. The story is about Jay Cavendish living in Scotland, brought up in a royalty family, and Rose, who he falls in love with, ends up fleeing to Colorado, and Jay Cavendish decides to go on a journey to find his love. He's then uh, met with a mysterious traveler named Silas, who helps him upon his journey uh, through the, the Western world to find Rose, his love. Not bad, kid. The character of Silas, who's almost kind of dead inside, because what served him best is to be on his own. Nobody can tangle up his life in any way. But at the end of the day, is there much love or experience of emotion in your life? And so Jay comes along and introduces all those things through his naivety and passion and the dreamer in him. And I think it sort of reignites all of those things in Silas. At the start, he's pretty scared about him. He wouldn't want to show that he's scared because he is quite the cocky little boy thinking he's, he's doing great traveling across America by himself. But I think they have a really great, beautiful relationship by the end of it. And it's a scraping motion against the grain, not a slicing motion. All I'm saying is there's more to life than just surviving. Yeah, there's dying. Kill that house! America is very much a character in this piece as well. The harsh reality of the Wild West and heading beyond where the train line sort of ends and what sort of characters are out there. May I enter? It's a free country. 